I like it too, baby. What's up, guys? My name is Darius P, and welcome back to another MK11 combo tutorial. We rocking with the Infinite Warden variation of Garrus and this one. Now, if you're rocking any other variation, maybe you got a custom variation on, you want to make sure that you have quicksand and bed of spikes on for this combo to work. Anyways, let's get right into it. We starting off with the Deathless Giant, the Ford. Two, one just like that it's a mid why is his front two a mid i have no idea anyways let's keep it moving now after he's so tall he's like he's blocking the the moves after the deathless giant we're going into a temporal advantage the back forward one then we're going to amplify it it looks just like that now if you see this it means you didn't amplify it but that is the amplified version. It puts him in. Hold on, let me show you guys this. Just in case you don't know. Look at him, he doesn't move. Then he moves. Hold on, can I do? So we're going in from the Deathless Giant into the Temporal Advantage. Let's do this. And it looks just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that one more time. Oh, look at that. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, after the Temporal Advantage, we're going into the rising gutlet, just a down to the good old fashioned uppercut in Mortal Kombat 11. Just like that, so it's gonna look like. And we're actually gonna do it twice. And you get the pop up just like that, right? Looks just like that. So let's practice going from the Deathless Giant all the way down to the rising gutlet. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that one more time. Let's keep it moving. Now, after the rising gunlet, we're going into matter of time. Now, it is just like the deathless giant, but you're going to add one more button to the end of it, and that is two. Or triangle, or Y if you're playing on Xbox. The exact same thing. And it looks just like that, baby. So let's practice. You can't practice this. I mean, you can practice the uh, the inputs forward. Like that, but you can't do a down two. And then do a move. It, it's just not going to work. The person going to fall before you can even start whatever move you're trying to do. So we're going to start from the temporal advantage. Then go all the way down to matter of time. Let's do this. And it looks just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that one more time. All right, now let's go all the way from the beginning, from the Deathless Giant, all the way down to a matter of time. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now let's keep it moving. Now, after matter of time, we're going into a bed of spikes. But guess what, guys? We can't practice going from it like that. That's just not going to combo. You see that? He won't grab him. This is the move that we're doing. And we're going to amplify it, right? So you get the little pop-up. But as you guys can see, he won't grab him after doing matter of time. Unless you go all the way from temporal, uh, temporal advantage, so you can't practice going from the gauntlet. You can't, you can't practice going from like that because you can't go from the rising gauntlet right into the matter of time. It's really a combo that really it'll only work from temporal advantage on down, or the deathless giant on down. I mean, you can do this. And go into the next part of the combo, but you can't practice it uh, like that. So we'll practice going all the way from temporal advantage. It's gonna be a tough one to practice, but I have faith that you guys will be able to get it. 
let's go from temporal advantage all the way down to bed of spikes and we're gonna amplify that by the way and it looks just like that ladies and gentlemen let's look at that one more time Just like that. Now, let's go all the way from Deathly Giant all the way down to Bed of Spikes. Let's do this. Look just like that already at 305 damage, and we're not even done yet. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Now, after the bed of spikes, we're going into eternal hate. Now, we can practice this. We can actually practice. Well, I'll show you what it looks like first. That's all it is. The front one grab. Just press front one grab. You don't have to press square and X, or I believe that's uh, it's X and A if you're on Xbox. You don't have to press those. I mean, you could. But you can just press the grab button. That's all it is. This is X and A is the grab button. You guys didn't know that. It's the same. I mean, well, we're in X, the one and the three. That's just grab. You press your grab button. You get those two hits. You're going to come on the other side just like that. So we can practice going from bed of spikes. Amplify then into eternal hate. Let's do this. It's gonna look just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now it comes the tough part. We gotta practice all the way from temporal advantage if we want any of these other things to work. So let's do it from temporal advantage all the way down to eternal hate. And it looks just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Just like that. Now, let's go all the way from the beginning, from the Deathless Giant. All the way down to eternal tape. Let's do this. And it looks just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that one more time. All right, let's keep it moving. We have one more move and that will be the end of the combo, baby. The last and final move in this combo is quick sand. Let's practice going from eternal hate. It's down back one, by the way. Let's practice going from eternal hate into the quick sand. Now this move, it was tricky at first, but I figured it out. You have to input quick sand, right? Right now, you see it says down back square, or I would say that it says down back one, right? Down back one. Now, the thing is, I'm doing the eternal hate, so I have to put the move, I have to input the move like I'm on this side, right? Even before I'm on that side. So, you're gonna see when I grab his shoulder. When you see Gears grab your opponent's shoulder, you want to put the quicksand move in. Or if you just if, if you figure out another combo that you want to use with this, you say if you was using the uh, where's that move? The temporal advantage, or you, you if you was using bed of spikes, you have to put input that move like you're on the opposite side, and you got to put it in as you grab the shoulder. 
But it it just just trust me guys it works. Yeah, I just did it. You have to put it in before you you're still gonna be on this side, right? This side when you actually input the inputs for the quicksand, the down back one. But you have to do it as if you're on this side. I know, I know. I'm I'm breaking your brain right now. My bad. But it, it looks just like that, right? We can practice going from the bed of spikes all the way down to quicksand, right? Yes, we can. Let's do this. Looks just like that. Let's hit the bed one more time. I just love the way his combos look. They just look... They, they look good, baby. I love it. Okay, so now we have to practice going from the temporary advantage all the way down to quick stand. That's a lot of stuff to be practicing, right? It, it looks like a lot, but I have faith. That those amplifiers just make it look like the combo is actually even more difficult than it really is. But I have faith that you guys will be able to uh, do this combo. Anyways, let's go from temporary advantage all the way down to quick stand. And it looks just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now let's go all the way from the beginning, from the Deathless Giant to the Temporal Advantage, but don't forget to amplify it, to the Double Rising Gunlet, to Matter of Time, to the Bed of Spikes, Amplify it, don't forget to do it, to Eternal Hate, and finish off with the Quick Sand. I love that move anyway, guys. Let's do this. Three hundred and thirty six damage. I love it. Let's look at that one more time. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Infinite Warden variation of Garrus. Don't remember, you have to have, if you're using a custom variation, you need to have quicksand and bed of spikes on in order to do this combo. Right there it is, the full combo tutorial. It is complete. My name is Darius P. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.